Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Devil Cube and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. And as you can see here in this tutorial, we're gonna be learning to create this amazing light box text effect. It's a 3D text effect without using the 3D, uh, uh, in inbuilt 3D uh, option as you can see over here in Photoshop. We're gonna be using just the layers to do that. And before I get on with the tutorial, what I wanna say is um, you guys can follow me on Twitter because uh, uh, I'm uploading a lot of stuff over there and you guys can be completely updated and also I'm just 150 subscribers away from reaching the 1000 subscriber hit mark so I'm gonna be giving away a resource pack at that time at 1000 subscribers so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you guys want it so without further ado let's head on into the tutorial and uh, you know show you guys how, how to make this thing over here okay so uh, the first thing is uh, I have a new document opened up over here. So if I go to my image and I go to image size, it's a 920 by 1080. But you guys can obviously set it to whatever dimensions you want. And then I just have this plain background over here, which is a pretty cool background. And it's right on there. So the first thing what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our text. And I'm going to just go, go ahead and I'm just going to go and uh, put in uh, just, I don't know, uh, DC. I don't know let's just type uh, text you know let's do that so we have our text over here and it can be any color and I'm just gonna press ctrl T and I'm just gonna go scale it up so we have a pretty big text and I'm just gonna go press ctrl A which is gonna select everything and in your move tool you can go ahead and click on these two buttons and this is align vertical and this is align align horizontal and I'm gonna press ctrl D and uh, that's gonna get rid of it uh, for us over here Okay, so now the thing actually is uh, when you are going to, uh, you know, edit a text, we're going to be using a lot of layers. So you cannot individually go to each layer and change it. So you want to, you know, uh, go ahead and create a single object, which is called a smart object in Photoshop over here. And that's going to help you to edit the text. And when you edit that, it's going to change the text of all the other layers it has included in. So if I go ahead to text right click and I choose convert to smart object what it's gonna do allow me to do is if I double click on it that's gonna open up this uh, option for me and I click on OK I can go ahead and change the whatever text I want so I can go ahead and uh, just put in my logo if I say put DC over here and I'm gonna press Control S that's gonna save if I come back you can see it's updated over here so that is the best option about this so let me just go back and change it to text and uh, then we can go ahead and press Control S and you can come back and uh, it's text over here right again. So now once we have our text with our smart object ready, we're going to go ahead and make some extrusions. So this is going to be the fun part. So as you can see here, I just have a layer over here. And if I hide the main layer, let's actually go ahead and let's call this uh, main text, which I actually named it main text. And this is the text over here, which I've added some layer styles. So I'm going to show you what layer styles I've added. So if I go here and double click, I have a bubble and emboss. And these are the settings which you can pause the video and have a look at. So the depth is 60, the size is 3, and these are the colors that I have been using. Um, so you guys can pause the video anytime and just, you know, make a note of it. Um, so yeah, and I also have a color overlay with this color over here. So 83, B2, BE, and I'm just going to click on OK. I also have added a Gaussian Blur. So how you want to add a Gaussian Blur is with the layer selector, you want to go to Filter over here and choose Blur, and I'm going to choose Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to set the radius to 0 0.5, and that's what you want. And since I've already added it, I don't want to add it again. And that's what we have. Now, um, how are we going to edit this? So what you want to do is you want to press Ctrl J, and what that's going to do is going to duplicate that. So I'm, if I was, so, I'm sorry. So that's one way of duplicating. The other way of duplicating is right click and choose Duplicate Layer. So once you duplicate a layer, you want to click on the bottom layer and you want to press Ctrl T and that's going to give up these settings over here. So what you want to do is for the width, you want to set a hundred percent and you want to set minus 0 0.7. Uh, okay, so say let's do that. So 100 minus 0 0.7. Oh, dang it. So 100 minus 0 0.7. Why is it not coming? Okay, so basically you want to reduce that down by 0.7%. So uh, you can set to 99.3%. That's on the width. And on the height, you want to set it by, reduce it by a single percent. So that's going to be 99%. And then you want to click on enter and that's going to make a little bit amount of, you know, edge over here. So if I show you guys, so if I see, you can see the difference that, you know, it's slowly, um, you know, giving you a little bit of 3D effect. So I'm going to make eight layers. So I'm just going to duplicate that again. So click on the bottom layer, press Ctrl T, 
and uh, so 99.3 uh, percent let's try let's try with a different minus a uh, 0.7 percent should that work uh, no that's not gonna work so 99.3 if I go ahead and get out my calculator so uh, if I set this to 99.3 minus 0 0.7 is uh, I think let's actually get the calculator here okay so with 99.3 minus 0 0.7 that's gonna give us 98.6 so let's go ahead and set this to 98.6 and uh, this is gonna be 98 and I'm gonna click on OK and hit enter so if I just go zoom you can see we're getting a little bit of more thickness over here so let's just duplicate this one more time so let's get our calculator back on so 98.6 minus 0 0.7 that's gonna give me 97.9 .9. so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, 97.9 97.9 and uh, 98 is going to be 97 and click on OK and hit enter and we're going to go okay so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pause the video right now and then I'm going to come back when I have a couple of layers so around eight to nine layers and uh, I'll see you guys then back right then okay so now as you can see over here I have a couple of layers so if I count them I have eight layers of extrude as you can see over here and I just named them extrude and I'm gonna go ahead and group them by pressing ctrl G and I'm just gonna go ahead and call this extrude let's go with the e -X -T -R -U -D. okay so as you can see over here I have two more layers which I just added and these are called as effects so if I switch them on you can see we get this glowing effect on so the only thing I did is I took the main layer I just duplicated it by pressing ctrl J and I made two copies and then I added a couple of layers so if I go ahead and show you guys the layers um, so we have the contour over here oh, okay let's okay, we don't need that we have the inner shadow so the inner shadow has these settings so it's a complete white overlay um, uh, you know one and four you guys could go ahead and increase it so if I increase the size you can actually see it you know increasing over there so uh, let's, set this to, let's actually cancel that because I don't want to apply the change and uh, okay and we have inner shadow so these are the settings and the color is uh, 93 BCC 7 and I've also added a satin and this is the color for the satin okay and uh, this is the contour so which is which is the uh, what what do you call this uh, Gaussian contour and also we have a gradient overlay and this gradient overlay is uh, you know uh, pretty complicated but uh, if I go ahead and uncheck the gradient overlay you can see there's a little bit of slight difference but it actually does not matter so uh, if I go and choose so basically it's a difference between a solid and a noise and uh, when, you, when you choose instead of a solid you choose a noise you're gonna get this and you can go ahead and increase the roughness as to how much of it you want so maybe I'm gonna go ahead and set the roughness to a hundred because I kind of like it and you can go ahead and change the color as well so let's just get this back and add transparency a lot of options so this is basically what we have and I'm gonna click on OK and I'm gonna click OK so that is the first layer you want to add on top the second layer uh, has this now before I go further to key see the first layer has the fill set to zero if I set it to 100 it's complete black so what a fill layer does is it removes the actual color of the text and if you see here I don't have a color overlay attached so the gradient overlay is basically the noise which is applying on you know basically on a transparent image so if I hide everything so this is basically how it looks so there's no fill so if I set the fill to 100 there's a black text and if I reduce the fill to zero all the effects are getting applied on a transparent invisible image so that is the use of reusing the fill and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check this on and this has a couple of more um, layer shadows. so inner shadow so these are the settings I'm just gonna pause for a second so you guys can copy them down and go to inner shadow and uh, this is the same color which we used uh, click on OK then color overlay same color uh, not actually the same little bit of difference and a drop shadow this time with uh, you know this color so you guys so let me just show you once again so the inner shadow these are the settings inner glow these are the settings color overlay these are the settings drop shadow these are the settings and okay so now if I click on the extrude we have something that looks amazing and looks crazy looking like this so now before we move ahead to making the shadows what I just want to do a couple more things so with this effect I'm gonna to go to filter and choose a blur and a Gaussian blur I'm gonna set this to 0.5 get a little bit of blurriness and uh, let's do the same thing over here so I'm gonna to go to filter and choose you can press ctrl F to repeat the same effect and hit OK and that's gonna add a little bit of blur uh, but that's not gonna make a too much of difference anyway so I'm gonna select both of them I'm gonna press ctrl G to group them and I'm gonna call them 
uh, let's see, uh, effects, and uh, we're good to go. Now we're gonna duplicate this layer once again, and I'm gonna go call this shadow, that's H A D uh, da shadow, and I'm gonna bring it down. And we're gonna be doing a couple of things to this. So if I just uncheck, so we want four layers. So as you can see here, I already added a couple of layer styles, and as you can see, the fill of this is set to zero. So this 200 is gonna be a complete black. If I know it's not gonna be this. So if we go to the layer style, this is what we have. So we have a color overlay of uh, this color, a you know a, like a faded uh, beige color, and the blend mode is set to linear burn with opacity of 30. So let me just set that to 30. And we also have a drop shadow with a pin light, and uh, you know this settings triple five. Uh, F8 D uh, F8 3 and I can actually go uncheck the drop shadow because you know I, I don't need that actually uh, but let's actually check, get rid of that so we just need the color overlay and I click on OK and uh, we, what we're gonna do now is gonna go ahead and uh, add a couple of uh, filters so I'm gonna go to filter and the first one I'm gonna go ahead is go and choose a blur and I'm gonna choose a motion blur so what a motion blur is gonna do is gonna blur out my text so what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to set the angle to zero and the distance to 30 and I'm going to click on OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. Actually, let's go and add another filter, filter blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to set the blur to four, pretty high amount, and I'm going to duplicate that. So we're going to come down and uh, we're going to bring down the arrows and here in the motion blur I'm gonna go ahead and set this to minus 90 on the angle and the distance is gonna be 60 I click on OK and uh, then we're gonna go duplicate that once again uh, on this one we're gonna go and uh, go to motion blur we're gonna go and set this to minus 90 and the distance is gonna be 45 click on OK and uh, the last one you're gonna press ctrl J and we're gonna go ahead and uh, delete the motion blur because we don't need that so i'm just going to uncheck that and on the gaussian blur we're going to set that to 20. click on okay we don't need the motion blur now and as you can see here it's all too black so what we can do is we can select the bottom three layers and just start moving them down slowly so uh, you know a little bit like that and the second second one you know a little bit a little bit of movement here and there and yeah and now once you go ahead and if you turn everything back on you have something that looks like this and you can actually even go and uh, select all of this press ctrl G that's gonna group them into an all we can go call this shadow S H A D O W, and you can go ahead and reduce the opacity down to say something 60 or 70 I, I have no I mean I don't, I don't know guys uh, something like this pretty much um, and also we can go ahead and uh, press ctrl T and uh, we can go ahead and just move this down slightly so I'm just holding down shift and alt to move it in so we get a nice effect I'm gonna click on okay that's gonna put back everything on and you know it looks pretty cool and much more realistic we can go ahead and move the entire shadow up or even you know just move this up and you guys can go hover around and play with all the settings I mean it's up to you. maybe increase opacity down to 85 I don't know guys okay so we have a nice good amount of shadow over here so once we have the shadow, we just want to add a little bit of blur and lighting to the overall to give it a final touch. All right, guys. So now, as you can see here, I have two new layers and uh, these are going to be the light effects. So uh, if I turn them on, you actually can't see anything. So if I need to turn all these off and we have these two layers. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the layer style that I've added to this layer. So the first one has just a color overlay with an overlay and this uh, just a you know a nice blue color and uh, I duplicated that and with another one we have a satin with uh, this color and then we have a color overlay uh, you can actually delete the satin if you don't want but uh, you know I just kept it and uh, it's a hard light 119 angle distance is 11 size 14 and the color overlay we have an even lighter brighter blue color and that's what we have so now what we're going to do is we're going to add, you know, the actual the blur effect. So as you can see, there's no blur effect at all here. So what we want to do is uh, with the first layer selected, we're going to go and choose filter blur and choose Gaussian blur. I'm going to set the blur amount to 40, as you can see over here. I'm going to click on OK. And then we're going to actually going to go and uh, go to filter blur, Gaussian blur on the second one. And as you can see, we're getting some nice, amazing light effects. Now also for the second one, we're gonna go add a little bit something different. So we're gonna go to filter, 
uh, blur and we're gonna choose a radial blur and we're gonna set this to whatever it is the default settings click on okay and uh, that's gonna give us a little bit of radial blurness and I, I I'm not sure quite sure if you guys can see it oh yeah there it is let's see all right so you can see here uh, if I remove it and close it we have a little bit of extra blurriness that we have and uh, so that's what actually uh, gives the more more lighting effect. So I'm just going to select both of these, press Ctrl G, and I'm going to name this lighting. And now if you go ahead into our main text, so let's just double click on that, and that's going to ask us to go into another pre-comp over here. So we're going to go ahead and just, I don't know, set this to a letter A, and you can press. So if you want to come back, you want to make sure you want to press Ctrl S. So that's going to save. And as you can see, it's taking some time. And if I come back over here, boom, there you go, guys. Everything is ready, set, and done so um that's how you create this crazy amazing light text effect guys so uh thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys really learned something new and uh, you know pretty was i hope it was pretty interesting for you guys if you did feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content if you have any questions or requests feel free to contact me on my social media links facebook behance twitter uh you know gmail or even in the comment section down below and uh really thank you guys so much for watching and spending some time on this and i'll see you guys in my next video so till then take care and bye-bye